attorneys for a Colorado Springs man injured during a traffic stop in October filed a lawsuit against three Colorado Springs police officers today. The incident was caught on police body camera video. Today, a retired police officer analyzed that video and is weighing in. News 5's Ashley Portillo is joining us now in the studio to explain what was in that lawsuit and what the injured man and police expert has to say. Ashley. Yeah, Diane, so this is a copy of the lawsuit filed in state district court earlier today. Now, according to this lawsuit, three Colorado Springs police officers allegedly used excessive force against 29 year old Dalvin Gadsden. And tonight, Gadsden and all of his supporters are demanding answers. Dalvin Gadsden recalls when he was pulled over during a traffic stop on October 9th. You don't have thoughts when that's happening. You're, survive, you're trying to survive. The lawsuit names officers Colby Hickman, Matthew Anderson, and Christopher Hummel. It alleges they deliberately, knowingly, intentionally, and violently beat Gadsden during that traffic stop. The suit claims Officer Anderson hit Gadsden 20 times over the head with a closed fist. I'm scared of all these police officers at this moment because I feel like they all are in cooperation with those three who hurt me. Until they are suspended, I will not feel safe in Colorado Springs. Last week, a Gadsden's attorneys released body cam video of the incident. Gadsden was pulled over for not having license plates and going 15 in a 45 mile per hour zone. Officers also investigated him for a possible DUI. That charge was later dropped. Retired police officer and use of force expert Natasha Powers weighed in. This incident went from zero to average everyday contact for registration violation to a use of force where this man afterwards, and it's clear on the video, suffered injury. Power says Gadsden appears confused and questioned officers about the arrest. Hands behind your back. Up on the car, man. Hands behind my back. Yes, you're gonna be detained in handcuffs. Oh, no, I'm not. You're about to stand up. She also said officers did not give Gadsden an explanation as to why he was being detained for investigation of a DUI. Do you believe it was excessive use of force by all three officers or one or two? I would say on the initial observation, it would be all three of them. The majority of the time, the cops get it right. In this okay. particular situation, I really think they did not get it right. And I think they failed in their jobs. Today, those in support of Gadsden stood behind him and his attorneys during that press conference demanding justice. Now they're seeking compensatory and punitive damages against the officers, and they want a jury to decide what those damages should be. My feelings are uh, hurt. My body hurt. We definitely need justice in Colorado Springs. So charges for Gadsden of obstructing a peace officer and resisting arrest are still pending in this case. Both of those are misdemeanors. And Springs Police previously released a statement saying the officer's use of force was found to be within company policy. And with regards to that lawsuit, CSPD says they cannot comment on pending litigation. Mike. Thanks, Ashley. Opera